Today, last year, 16-year-old Ryder student and football player Caleb Honey died from his injury sustained in a car accident. Yeah, PJ Green was with loved ones tonight at a vigil outside Memorial Stadium as they remembered Caleb. One year has passed, but the wound is still fresh. Every one of my first, first Mother's Day, first birthday, and now his first anniversary. Um, but it's been really nice. It's been you know, a lot of positive messages and reminders of the things that he's done. On July 20th last year, 16-year-old Caleb Honey was in a car wreck on Highway 281 in 1954. Less than a month later, on August 4th, he died from injuries sustained in that wreck. After a year of crying, mourning, praying, and remembering, loved ones still remember Caleb for his brightest moments. He was a different kid. I've met so many people co-workers and you know people whose yards he did people whose kids he you know would play with just the simplest things that people would tell me like I knew your son like your son was really like a good person and he's just a very positive person I mean things weren't the greatest for him like in life I mean just like the most cases everyone else really but he made the best things uh, that he could out of them. As loved ones light lanterns and share more memories of him at what his mother calls his second home they say Caleb will always be alive in their hearts, and he is sorely missed. Um, I want to win a state championship, play every game for him, work as hard, work hard, and play hard every play just for him. It's a little easier to deal with when you literally have thousands of people who know who your son is and remember who your son is, and I'm okay with that. They say legends never die, so that's the case, and we're, I'm thinking I'm all right. Those who hold Honey close to their heart will surely do their best to keep his memory alive. PJ Green, KFDX 3 News. That was a very nice tribute tonight. Now, Caleb's mother says 19 blood donors kept him alive for two weeks while he was hospitalized. This coming Monday, the Texas Blood Institute will hold a blood drive in Caleb's honor.